A massive weather wall is developing over the United States and it will completely alter the weather as we head into October. This pattern change will affect the entire country in some way, bringing you drier or warmer than normal conditions or wetter and cooler conditions. Let's start this update by taking a look at exactly what this pattern change is doing. Starting off today on September 27th, we're seeing a storm make landfall in the Pacific Northwest with a weakening low pressure area over the Ohio Valley. This system will spark some severe storms across the region today, which is why this slight risk is in effect. By Thursday, September 28th, this small system will pretty much fizzle out, only leaving some leftover showers. On Friday, a frontal system off the east coast may bring some heavier rainfall to New England before moving away by the 30th. This new pattern change will really take shape on the very first day of October. This is what we could be looking at on October 1st according to the GFS. A large high pressure system will start building across the eastern US as some moisture moves into the west bringing in much needed rainfall and colder air. As we push this forward notice how long this overall pattern stays stuck in place. Storm after storm crashes into the west but it just can't get past this weather wall. According to long-range weather models, we may be seeing this pattern stay stuck for the entire first half of October before finally changing up a bit. It's not just the model showing this. The Climate Prediction Center is also agreeing with these trends and is forecasting above average precipitation across the west and central portion of the country, while the east is much below normal in terms of rainfall. Temperatures look way above average for the east as well, especially in the upper midwest, Great Lakes, and northeast. The west, especially the southwest, looks to be much cooler than normal for October. These outlooks go hand in hand with something I wanted to talk about. A heat wave for the northern United States, mainly around the midwest and Great Lakes, will bring much warmer than normal conditions for a prolonged period of time. This will begin as early as Friday, September 29th. Temperatures between 10 and 15 degrees above normal will affect the upper Midwest before intensifying towards 20 degrees warmer than normal for southern Canada into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes by early October. This will continue across a massive portion of southern Canada into the eastern U.S. throughout the first half of October before some signs of a pattern change by October 15th. While dryness and warmth will plague the majority of the eastern United States, the only place which may be in better shape as far as precipitation is Florida. Since high pressure systems have clockwise flow, rainfall will be repeatedly pushed into the Florida Peninsula from east to west. The constant rainfall and heavy storms could lead to some flooding concerns for the rest of September into October. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be seeing a lot of storms making landfall on the west coast in the first half of October. As the eastern half of the country remains in warmer and drier weather, much needed rainfall and mountain snow will affect the northwest portions of California and the Rockies. Some of these storms will lose their punch after moving across the mountains, but others may become powerful storms over the central United States, bringing the risk for severe weather. So with that in mind, here's a severe weather probability map I created for October 1st through the 10th. Rainfall and therefore severe storms will be non-existent for the first to middle portion of October across the east, but I did include some severe weather probabilities for the Florida Peninsula due to the active thunderstorm pattern. A large red area encompasses the central United States due to the risk of big storm systems moving through the region. I didn't include any other higher risk zones for this map, mostly due to the high uncertainty in where the most severe weather would occur. But if you are in the central United States, definitely keep an eye on the weather. That will conclude today's forecast. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and consider leaving a comment down below and tell me how this pattern affects you. If you have any further questions on what your area can expect, leave your questions in the comments section and I'll answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.